hometown. This is where I grew up. Visiting my parents for a few days. And uh, in the park near us, there's a mandarin duck. I've seen it a few times here in the pond, so I'm gonna try and get some photos of it. Alright, we're nearly here. I think I see it already. beautiful ducks and it's just kind of swimming around with all the other ducks having all the sort of normal mallards around it and then just this single mandarin duck in the middle of them. It's really cool, really cool to see. So one of the things you can think about when photographing water birds like this is your angle. So you want to be as low as possible. Um, I'll try and show you the difference. If you just you know, like, like most people would, if you just sort of stand up and just point the camera down and take a picture of the bird that you're photographing, it'll look like this. Um, or maybe as an improvement, maybe you crouch down and then you get a bit lower angle and then you take a picture of the bird and it looks like this. Um, the important thing to do is just to really really get as low as you physically possibly can. That usually for me means going right up to the edge, like uh, kneel down, you know, almost like get to the point where you're almost dipping your elbow in the water and just try and get as low as possible. Your shots will just start to look much, much better. Um, you get so much more distance to the background and that'll throw everything out of focus and it'll put the focal point right on your subject, which is exactly what you want. All right, I'm on my way back now from photographing the mandarin duck. Um, it's really cool to see. My knees hurt a bit. Uh, you really do have to get so low. It should be almost physically uncomfortable. I went for a 15K run this morning and that didn't help because my legs were starting to cramp up when I was uh, kneeling over the edge of that pond. So it is pretty uncomfortable, but hopefully I've got uh, one or two good shots. But I'm having to rush back now because I'm being beckoned for lunch with my family, so looking forward to that. This mandarin duck is really special and uh, would love to come back and photograph it again. Hopefully in slightly better light as well, we'll see about that. And yeah, this mandarin duck isn't anywhere special, it's literally in the local park, um, not too far from my parents' house. So. You don't have to go out on epic adventures to see cool wildlife. You can literally just go to your park, just use good techniques and have good lighting, and your shots can look really cool. Oh, and thanks everyone who uh, watched and commented on my last video. I was, wasn't expecting that many views, to be honest, and it's really cool um, that people are watching it and enjoying it, because I put a lot of effort into these videos. Oh, squirrel. And uh, yeah, I'm glad there are people out there that are watching them and enjoying them. So there's plenty more to come. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Flickr, follow me on Instagram. And uh, there's plenty more like it to come. So yeah, all right.
Hey, so I've just turned off at the same location. It's the next morning. Uh, you can probably hear all the birds. And uh, there are a few little lakes around here, or ponds I should say, I guess, which uh, Mandarin Duck might be in. So I'm just having a look around and uh, trying to locate it again. Hopefully get some better pictures because the light is looking a little bit better today. So I hung around by that pond for a few minutes, uh, but nothing was going on. The mandarin duck seemed quite happy to just sit under the bushes and sort of hiding there with all the other ducks, so they're not being very active at the moment. So for now I'm just heading to another location nearby uh, where there are usually comorants and egrets, so we'll see what we can find. And then I might come back here later. All right. So I'm on my way back now. I decided to call it a day and finish photographing the mandarin duck. Um, the light was kind of getting worse, it started raining and the wind picked up and started sort of chopping up the surface of the water so the reflections and things like that didn't look very good. But I think I'm pretty happy with some of the pictures I got. It did come out of the water a few times and stand. Um, on the sort of rocks around the edge of the pond, so I was able to get some shots of it like that. Yeah, this mandarin duck was quite difficult to photograph really. They're quite shy, at least when it comes to humans, and it would sort of hang around um, in, in the middle of the pond, they're sort of like a little island, and it would hang around there and just hide in the bushes, and then if you waited around for about 10 or 15 minutes it would sometimes swim out. Uh, towards the edges of the pond uh, for about 20 seconds and then swim back so during that time you're sort of scrambling to get the shots trying to get as low down as close to the edge as possible trying to get a good background behind it trying to wait until it's in the right position get the right shot to speed so that you don't have motion blur there are a few times when it came out of the pond completely as well which is pretty cool so yeah, I think I got some good shots overall. I'll share the pictures, obviously. And, uh, yeah, that's all for now.